Hello, this is Enoch from um, Teenagers Explaining You About Politics. I just forgot the title, but yeah, this is my new podcast. And so, yeah, <clears throat> excitement. So this is like a podcast where I talk about big issues today, mainly in Australia, sometimes America or England or whatever. Or if you request something, feel free to like comment on whatever platform you're listening to this on or like email me or something so today i will be doing abortion mainly in australia because most australians aren't into politics but if you are good on you because i believe we more australians should look into politics because it's i don't know it's just not our culture we kind of just laid back people you know pretty chill anyway so Abortion in Australia. I'm using Wikipedia for this because I'm too lazy to go anywhere else since the first thing. So yeah. So there. If you are not Australian, in Australia there are one, two, three, four, five, six states and two territories. The states are Western Australia, Queensland, South Australia, Victoria, New South Wales, and Tasmania. And the states is Northern Territory and ACT, Australian Capital Territory. And in these states and territories, they tend to have different laws, but like America, different states like North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, different states have different laws, and that's kind of the same. So high autonomy, I guess. So in Queensland, Northern Territory, New South Wales, and Tasmania, um, abortion is legal on request, and they do not. A minor does not need to notify parent or proposed abortion, nor is parental consent required, except in Western Australia. So in WANT, New South Wales and Tasmania, and ACT, it's legal on request, and you don't need to tell your mum or dad if you're under 16, which is bad. Except for WA, you need to tell one member, one parent or guardian. So in... Queensland, it's due to legal definitions in criminal law or mater maternal life health or mental health. So basically, you can only have an abortion if it's from like rape or it's the baby is unhealthy or you are unhealthy and or the baby has health problem or mental health problem. So that is what I would rather all Australia have or f uh, South Australia has legal for maternal life, rape, health, fatal defects, and all mental health. So it's c kind of the same, except that there are no exemptions, unlike Queensland. So I would rather Queensland or New South, uh, South Australia system, because just, I, I believe that it's just bad to just kill babies for no good reason. I think it's horrible. In, and I'll do the last one, New South Wales. Um, exemptions due to legal definitions in criminal law for maternal life, rape, health, fat, fetal defects, mental health, economic factors, and or social factors. So I think that's the second worst one in Australia because it's pretty much, if you can't afford a baby, you're going to kill it. And that's just bad. I think it's horrible. But. So. You can only have abortion in Australia. Uh, you can only have abortions. On request. Up to 20 years, weeks of pregnancy. Subject to. Oh, and this is in WA. So different states differ. But. I think that's just horrible. I think it should be reduced to 15 weeks. At least. But not if it's healthy, and not just because if you just had sex and then regretted it, that you want an abortion. I think that's so wrong, and just, it's just horrible. I think it should be legal for maternal life, rape, health, fetal defects, and or mental health. I think it's probably the best laws, because it just makes more sense, like if it's going to endanger the mother I think it's fine to have it or it's rape or it's health you got it's got health problems and I think the mental health is a bit mean but 
yeah, I guess some people just can't afford to do that. But just on a request, I think it's horrible, inhumane, and just killing innocent babies just because you don't feel like a baby. Use a condom. Kind of simple. And so I think it's just horrible. Um, so I will now say the summary of the state laws in about abortion in all the states and territories. So in the ACT, Australian Capital Territory, it's illegal and accessible, but must be provided by medical doctor. Health minister may set exclusion zones for protests. I'm not sure, but yes, I just think it's so wrong for this. Like, I guess I understand if the person is under 16, I think it's kind of fair because they might not know what they're doing, but they might have to live with that for the rest of their life. I would not do it, but if they feel like it's wrong, I think then well, it's fine, under 16. <clears throat> so, that is all I have to talk about, really, about abortion in Australia. Um, so, but, see, in ACT, it's, you have to, it's legal up, and any time, legal and accessible at all time. And I think that is horrible. But in places like Northern Territory, it has to be 24 weeks before. In Queensland, 22 up to 22 weeks. South Australia, up to 28. Tasmania, beyond 16 weeks, is legal with two doctors' approval. Um, it is illegal to protest within 150 metres of an abortion service, which I think is horrible. I think, I mean, fire it. All these liberals can <laughs> protest about these right like right wing groups at their doorstep or Christian groups at their doorstep but people aren't allowed to protest within 150 meters I think it's stupid Victoria up to 24 weeks if two doctors agree and WA it's 20 weeks very restricted after 20 weeks some restrictions for under 16 I think it's horrible I think it should be I would preferably like it after 14 weeks but I think that might be a bit strict so 16 is beyond 16 weeks I should think should be illegal I think it's just wrong even then I'd rather not have it at all I'd rather if it's fine and healthy you're fine and healthy the baby's fine and healthy the baby should be born and given a chance at life that is my opinion on the matter I don't know what yours is I'd be happy to discuss um, so thank you for listening and maybe some other time. So maybe at Australian time because today is Wednesday. So maybe every Wednesday and every Friday, every Wednesday and Friday, my uh, podcast will be on. Thank you. Bye.